another delay on my Vobin video, though this is a good reason. I disabled comments on two of my Lembo videos. There was a lot of nonsense in the comments that it was just full of hate. The first video made sense, since I sort of created the hate, but the second video I wanted to end the hate, and either way, people just wanted to ignore more than 90% of what I said in my video, and they just tried their damn hardest to make Lembo sound fantastic. It just amazes me. So those videos will have the comments be permanently disabled, so the videos will stay up. Now I wanted to talk about the difference between overpowered and broken. We all seem to use the word overpowered very loosely, especially since it is a PvE game. Though, no one talks about what is broken in the game. I would like to strike the word overpowered, since right now, that word seems to be worthless at this point in time. I will say instead, they are powerful. Powerful Warframes do not just consist of high amounts of damage, a real powerful Warframe consists of, very high level of usefulness in a team, of any mission type, and at any situation. Which I will say a few, Loki, Excalibur, and Trinity. These Warframes can be used in any mission type, which they have skills that benefit themselves along with the team. Broken Warframes are a different matter, they break the gameplay as a whole, turning what we think of Warframe as fun to just plain boring and cheat worthy. I am about to name two Warframes, but before you try to plan my assassination, hear me out. Wakong and Limbo are what you call broken in this game. Wakong has an ability called Defy, which is basically quick thinking, but in a higher level. If you add a shit ton of duration and efficiency mods, along with the Rage mod, you literally have an unkillable death machine. I say this because he can literally kill multiple enemies at once, not be killed, do high amounts of damage, and over time, you start to realize, he makes Valkyr look like a wimp. At least with Valkyr, yes you have invulnerability, but her damage falls off significantly because of enemy scaling, and she got skills that benefit the team. While Wukong's damage takes far longer before his damage falls off. Over time, which has happened recently, Wukong will be neglected because he's boring and does nothing to benefit the team except for himself. As for Limbo, he can literally turn a powerful Warframe into an unkillable walking death machine, since Banish, which we all call the troll skill, allows players to be untouched by enemy fire, melee and our damage, and as long as the Warframe has an ability that can do damage, they can damage enemies with ease. That breaks the game as a whole, and there is a reason why Trinity's blessing was nerfed. Giving all Warframes invulnerability can kill the experience of Warframe. What makes things worse, Limbo has no traits to benefit himself at all, except for Riftwalk. There are people that tell me to go full power strength for his cataclysm, which they call nuking, there is a reason why press 4 to win is frowned upon in Warframe. Anyways, that's really all I wanted to say, see you all later.